Hey guys, it's Sissy and today we are back and we are playing some more Garden Balls because what else would we be playing when we have to continue to rush to get to the Halloween Island by the end of November and we are making such amazing progress. It is the middle of November right now as I'm recording this and I believe in game it is summer day 18 which means we are halfway through summer so we don't really have that much longer to go until we can get to autumn to get to the Halloween Island and I am so excited I, I really can't wait um so yeah so I played as usual a little bit um just on my own just selling things we have a nice chunk of gold 25,000 gold from selling stuff um and let's see I got these overalls so just the same as my purple ones and my brown ones but they're blue and this pink hat, I think I just got. I sold one of my straw hats because I found one in a chest and I got one from um, uh, Farmer Jones. I think that's his name. And so I kept the one from Farmer Jones and I sold the other one. And then in here, I just have stuff that I probably won't really wear. And over here in our quest chest, we have some wooden platforms that we can deliver to Kieran so he can create a summer area. What? Not a summer area. He wants like a swimming dock, pier, something like that. <laughs> so I am, oh, okay. So this will be easy. <laughs> I'm just going to tend to my flowers very quickly and then we can head into town because I know a lot of people really want to talk to me. Um, so that will be something we have to do. So here's another red daisy to start boosting up our collection. And I'll just plant this regular daisy just because I have the seed for it. So there we go. And, um, there's not really anything else going on. So I think we will head into town after I check to see if there is a chest over here and there is not. So we will head into town and I will catch up with you guys in a moment. So the first thing that we are going to do in town is talk to the miners because uh, if you remember last time, uh, Steven and his other miner friends were going on strike and we need them to not go on strike. So let's talk to him. The co-workers are complaining about the heat. They want a lemonade to cool down before they go back to work. Bring three lemonades. Jenna in the market sells them. Okay, I don't even know. I think I might have used the lemonade that I had before. So I will buy some from Jenna. First, I'm checking for a chest up here. And then we shall buy some lemonade from Jenna. And also, she wants to talk to us. So we'll see about that as well. Hello, Jenna. The planters look great. Could you pick up the saplings I ordered from Sammy? They should be ready by now. Sure. But first, why did I? Okay. <laughs> first, I need to buy three lemonade. And, whoa, okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> Let's check our quest real quick as well. Five dandelions for Charlie. Sure, that's easy peasy. Um, I couldn't find that easily. So I'm going to head back to the top of the mountain and give Steven some lemonade. Hello, Steven. There you go. Thanks for the lemonade. We'll get back to work tomorrow and we'll have the area clear three days after. Okay, thank you. Oh, wait. He didn't take, he only took one lemonade? Oh, okay. Um... Wait, did I only buy? Did I drink a lemonade? What? What? Um, let's go back down and buy another one and then we'll we'll see about that. Very strange. All right, so we have three lemonade again. Let's see what Steven says. Thanks for the lemonade. We'll get back to work tomorrow. Okay, that was very strange. I wonder if I had three lemonade before. I'll have to check that and then... Um, Report it if it was a bug or if I just had two lemonades because I'm silly. Whee! <laughs> a very dangerous fall. Okay, so Boris is still waiting on us to get that delicate fur. That's not happening yet. Hello, Malu. We had given you a dye for a backpack. A yellow backpack design. I'm going to need 30 dandelions for some yellow dye. Jeez, Louise. 
Uh, yeah, I'll get that for you. I mean, dandelions are easy, but like 30 is a lot of anything. And you don't even have the red backpack yet? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, he's selling the black backpack that we're totally buying. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. So I was looking at it wrong. I was looking at his storage shop when I should have been looking at his backpack shop. So that's very helpful. So now I have a KU back black pack, but <laughs> a cute black backpack <laughs> is what I am trying to say. Um, I don't think Alberto needs anything from us right now, but we can always take a look. No, you're doing okay, buddy. All right. Thank you again for the life jacket. I'm looking really forward to going to the, um, Halloween Island. Thanks to you. Farmer Jones doesn't want anything from us. However, Mr. Mooney certainly does. Hello, Mr. Mooney. Hello. Running low on poop. Think you can bring me 80? Okay, first of all, how do you run low on poop? You literally have so much of it. Just collect it yourself. That's okay. I don't mind getting it for him. He was packing up the fertilizer and one of the crates broke and I lost some fertilizer. Do you have 20 poop to sell me to really? You are just obsessed with poop. You are absolutely obsessed. So I'm going to just steal some poop from you and then I'll give it back to you. Then I'll take some from uh, Farmer Jones as well. And then we will go see Sammy because he definitely has some saplings for us. And we'll just see if he has anything else for us as well. Hello, Sammy. You have to give us something and you want to talk to us also. I just finished building the wagon, but I might have made a mistake. See, I built it in my basement and the door isn't big enough to get it out. Could you talk to Frank and see if something can be done? Oh, Sammy. Oh, goodness. Saplings? Oh, yeah. I remember something about saplings. Okay. Are you going to give them to me? Hey, friend. Here are the saplings Jenna ordered. Thank you. Where? Oh, they're not in my inventory. <laughs> I was expecting to see saplings like I did for, um, um, Bor, no, not Boris. It was uh, Bruce. Bruce. We had like those spruce saplings. Um, I came up here to make it faster to come here and then I missed. Well, that was Cheyenne. But hello, Frank. Can you help Sammy? Yes, he built a wagon inside. I'll go look at the situation tonight. Come see me tomorrow and I'll see what we can do. Thank you, Frank. And back to Jenna. Hello, Jenna. These will look great in the planters. Here's something for helping out. Okay. And then she doesn't have a nice sign. She needs some boards for Frank for a new lemon uh, sign. <laughs> um, four wooden boards and two large wooden. Um, I think I can make them now. Mm, yeah. Okay, so we have those and we'll just deliver them right to Frank. I mean, since we're here and since we have it on store for us, that's why I like to have wood with us like all the time. Thanks for the boards. I'll get the lemon sign ready for pickup in two days. Here's some coin for helping out. I feel like Jenna should be giving me the coin, not you, but thanks. I won't say no to some coins. Um... Now, I believe we should head over towards Kieran and we can give him the, um, whatchamacallit, the platforms that he wanted. And we will see about that. And we'll also keep an eye out for any um, chests or anything like that. So as I was making my way over towards Kieran and to check on Boris and everything like that, um, 
I decided that I really want to open up this cave right here that's right near this beautiful little duck pond. So it's 1500 gold. We totally have that. Let's do it. So what do we have to do? Collect 1500s. Okay. Oh, it's that quick. I thought we would have to wait like another day. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we're going to light this and then let's keep going. This is so cool. Hello, chest. And it had two cabbage in it. Wow. <laughs> wow. But it looks like this is, I think, a, um, yeah, it was a geode, but like, really? Two cabbage. Um, all right then. <laughs> that, uh, that was, that was fun. Also, I think I said Boris earlier and I meant Thorn. I totally meant Thorn. I'm very sorry, Thorn, that I just seem to be forgetting your name recently. But you don't need me anyways, probably because I can't remember your name and you hate me. So, yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> but now we shall head over towards Kieran and I'm going to look for some chests around the coastline here because I feel like sometimes they do pop up here and maybe they will have more than um two cabbage in them that would be nice so yeah i'm just gonna do that and head over towards kieran hey kieran so i have i have these platforms for you thank you oh 2500 geez louise i guess because that took up a ton of wood he really made it worth my while so that's nice that was very nice of you. Um, so we're just going to explore a little bit. Look for some chests and whatnot. And then we will head home. And there's the wanderer over there. I hope you're happy with the, the solutions that we've come to. Oh, and there's the cave. I don't think. Oh, no, I did see the cave before. I did see the cave before. But I didn't realize it was like right there. So, yeah, we'll be able to check that out in a couple of days. That's exciting. Um, but... Yeah, I will let you know if anything exciting happens. So I have decided that I think we are going to work on getting a rabbit. So we are going to make a bunny habitat. So we need 10 large wooden board and eight wooden pole. So 10 large board. Um, and I just like grabbed all my wood that I had and cut down a couple more trees because I really like just decided this. So 10 of these. Perfect. And then eight of the poles. Correct? Yes. It's funny that the cat habitat takes so much less, but now ah i didn't mean to make that <laughs> i thought i was crafting the bunny habitat okay well here we go here is the bunny habitat and i'm gonna look tomorrow for a bunny that i really want to get um and we will work on taming it so that will be really exciting but for now we shall head to bed and i will see you guys in the morning oh my gosh that looks beautiful with like those rays of sunlight that's gorgeous okay so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna head to bed and then we will um start taming and doing whatever else we need to do okay it is a new morning i have already tended to my garden and everything and let's see what is in the mail back to work from oh from john stone the miners went back to work. The ruins entrance will be, be open in three days. Okay, so I got coin wooden chicks for that. Okay, thanks. I'm not going to say no to that. I'm just not exactly sure why. <laughs> so do checks do, 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 do check. I'm having trouble talking tonight. If nobody has noticed, <laughs> do chicks stack, but they do not. So we will put this here and we'll do something with this wooden pole i don't know um so first things first i want to go and find a rabbit that shall be mine and what i have seen people suggest or say that they do in the discord is 
they take their habitat to where the rabbits are. So like, not yet, I don't need it yet, which is like over here. And then they'll leave the habitat there so that it makes it easier to get the rabbit. And I'm like, I, I don't necessarily want to pick the first one I see, but this one is adorable. I love the little brown one. Okay, so we're going to put the habitat right here. Hello. And so I don't really know what happens next. I'm going to pet the rabbit. Oh my gosh, and there's... Oh wait, okay. <laughs> I thought that was my carrot. So feed rabbit. It's hungry. And now it's full. So now I can just pet the rabbit. Oh, but I could actually, I did feed it again, which I didn't mean to do. So are you in this habitat now? I, I don't know, but I love you. Um, I wanna see if I can like, I, I, I just, I'm gonna like just place it literally on the bunny. Not really on the bunny, but next to the bunny. So open habitat. Okay, so I guess this way, as soon as you get it, hmm, we'll have to see about this. But this is what I've seen people suggest, so I figured I would try it out. And we're going to get our bunny, and it's going to be this one, and he's going to love us, and I can't wait. So, yeah, so now we shall head into town and see what else is going on. Hello, Frank. What do you have for Sammy? I took a look last night, and it looks like we're going to have to take out one of the walls in Sammy's basement. Before we do this, though, we should have another wall ready to put up. Can you make one wall? I think I can do that. And in fact, I think I can do that right... Oh, no, I can't do that right here. I'll have to go home for that. <laughs> I thought that I could... Whoa, I keep at it, putting on auto run, and it's really weird. But it's not what I want to do. Yeah, to make a wall, I'll have to go home, but that's okay. We can do that, and we will see what anybody else has or needs from us. I hear a chest. Oh, it's up there. I didn't look. Usually I look, but I didn't look today. And there's one there, so let's go and see what there is. Probably two cabbages. No, two pink leaf, okay, but like... I would expect two pink leaf from that, but like to pay 1500 to unlock a chest, I would expect a little bit more than two cabbage, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll deal with it. Also, I can't believe I forgot that extra. I just need one more dandelion for, I think it was for Charlie for the quest. And I forgot it. I'm very sorry, sir. Um, we'll have to see if I find another one. During a quick little travel around. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to steal poop. And then we shall see what else is going on around town. I was so annoyed that I forgot that one single dandelion for Charlie. That I went all the way back home and grabbed one. And then while I was there, I made a, a wall for Frank as well. So, hello Charlie. Here are your dandelions. Thank you very much. And now we can go up to Frank. And thanks. I'll get the wagon out tonight and the wall up by morning. Here are some coins. Okay. Thank you very much. And now we shall go into the woodsy foresty area and just see what's going on around there. Ooh, okay, so I decided I wanted to go all the way over to that island there. And instead, when I went over to this little one, just from right there, like the foresty area with the deer, I found a chest. So it's just got some daisies, but that's okay. And so I think we're going to try to do a little bit of some island hopping, just because that sounds like a ton of fun. I want to get to that island right there. And I don't know if I can get there just with my glider. I think... What I might need to do is you can um, use, what are they called, platforms or ramps. 
and build over. And so that might be what you have to do. I'm not 100% sure. I think I've been over to this island before, but for some reason from the other angle, it looked totally different. So I figured we'd just head over there and see if there's anything of interest. And it doesn't look like there is, but that's okay. Better to check and not find anything than to have not checked. Um... But yeah, I just really wonder if at all I can get over there, and I'm kind of tempted to try, but I know I'm not going to be able to, but hey. Yeah, no, mm -mm, that's not going to happen. That's too much of a, that's too far to swim. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, so I might need, let me check the map see where even am i oh my gosh so i can't even see oh okay wait oh i can only see it when i zoom in that then there is over here but yeah i don't know how to get over there maybe we'll try from like over there if there's somewhere high but yeah so i think that's kind of what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to do some island hopping and uh we shall see how that goes yeah, no, I just don't think it's possible to get over here like this. Because, like, I'm going to be able to make it to the rock, but there's nowhere for me to climb up. And I'm just going to get super tired. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, it, like, can't decide whether it wants to increase or decrease my stamina. My, like, that's really interesting. See, so I'm getting more energy. That's kind of cool. I also think it's kind of a bug, and I don't really want to exploit that, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know how to get over there. I guess maybe, maybe we'll have to build some ramps or something. Hmm. I guess maybe if we were supposed to get there, we would. I, I mean, like, if we were supposed to get there easily, we would be able to, but I just don't think we can get there easily. I still don't understand. I think these are hippos, but I think they sounded like pigs or something. It was something silly like that. Um, hmm. Yeah, no, I think we'll just have to kind of build our own little bridge over to there, and that's it. Let's see, did Kieran need anything? I didn't even check on... Uh, thorn so hopefully he was okay oh there's a cute little white rabbit but I'm happy with my brown rabbit I'm very happy with that hello campers just running through your campgrounds don't mind me <laughs> nothing to see here nothing at all <laughs> so we're just gonna either head back home or get kicked back home whichever one happens first Oh no, we'll hang out over here with our future rabbit. I cannot wait for you to be my beautiful rabbit because you are adorable. I am curious if naming animals is a feature that is going to be added to the game because that's one that I find very important and I feel like other people do as well. Sorry, I was trying to adjust the angle there. Um, yeah, like, I just find that to be such a super important thing. I don't know. Oh my gosh, you are hopping and you are adorable. I'm not, I'm, I can't, <laughs> I can't do the angles tonight. They're just not working. Oh my gosh, you are adorable and I love you. Um, but yeah, I need to be able to name my animals. Like, this right here. This rabbit will be named Rabitha and... That is because Rabitha is the name of a really cute rabbit that used to come around my house. I don't know. Oh my gosh, look, it's like tilting its head all adorably. Oh my gosh. Um, that used to be around my house, and I don't know if she still is. I haven't seen her in a while. And she had the cutest little, like, cowlick on her forehead that looked like a diamond. Like, it's just the way her fur grew outwards. It was so cute. And so I always knew it was Rabitha because she had this hilarious mark on her forehead. And I just named her Rabitha because 
It's like Tabitha, but she's a rabbit. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, this will be Rabitha after we tame her. And if we can name her. But she'll always be Rabitha in my heart. <laughs> so, I'm excited to see how this whole taming is going to go. Like, with having the habitat here. I'm assuming it'll go well. And probably by the next time I record, I will either have a rabbit or it will be, like, the last day to tame it. So, that will be really exciting. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed. It wasn't anything too super exciting, but we got some quests done. We got some new quests for me to collect items for and um, things like that. I mean, I think the most exciting thing was finding that this little baby's going to be ours. She is. She's just going to be ours, okay? That's all there is to it. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. Bye.